All right, so we are going to be doing a quick drive here. It's all of seven minutes um, from my company's office here to um, a restaurant I'm meeting a coworker at here. So we're starting to get some accumulation with the snow. So I don't know how successful this is going to be, um, but we're going to give it a shot. So a little bit of sliding coming out of that, uh, out of my company's driveway there. Um, but the rest of the road is actually pretty, pretty clear still. So we should be fine until we get to the other city street portion after we get off the highway here. So. As you can see there, just another flicker of the visualizations, um, again, so. Definitely some UI related bugs they gotta work through here with the visualizations. And this stopping Chevron too and the visualizations is super nice to knowing what the car is intending to do. But as you can see the visualizations are definitely starting to lag a bit so I'm guessing we're, run, we're exhausting our hardware resources on MCU here and looks like it's freezing again I reported a lot of um, you know issues from the last drive submitted using the report button here that I still have so I'm guessing the car is busy trying to send that back to Tesla I did pair it with my hotspot because I ran into some LTE connectivity problems too so Great job rolling forward into the intersection and waiting to make the turn now. See if it makes the left here. Perfect. That is exactly what it should have done. All right, that's awesome. I feel like in previous builds, the car would have just stopped there and required me to take over. Um, I didn't give it any throttle input there. The car did everything on its own. So did a great job yielding for that truck and slowing down smoothly. So if there was traffic behind us, it would be predictable, but it also then made that left turn once it once it was changing from red, yellow to red, as it should have been since we were in the intersection. So overall, good stuff there. I'm not sure if it's because of the snow or not, but we're getting on the, we're merging a little slowly here. I would like to have seen a signal there. Um, so I will report that as well. But, you know, signal, use of turn signals is still something that, even in version 11, uh, it needs a lot of work. If the car is making any sort of maneuver, it should be using the turn signal and leaving it on until it's completely done with that. And that will just give human drivers that are around us a better idea of what we're trying to do and you know, planning to do. Interesting how it's changing out of the rightmost lane it's almost anticipating that we're coming up on a, you know, an interchange here between two different highway sections and that there might be traffic merging on there. I really like that behavior because as you can see here, there's cars coming on that are going a bit slower. Um, and that's, that was definitely something that Navigate Autopilot was definitely not aware of. It never made decisions like that. So there's a lot of intelligence when it comes to highway driving that version 11 has that Navigate Autopilot never had. So Again, some big steps forward there. All right, we had a pretty, pretty big gap there between that us and that car behind us there to our right, and yet the car still waits a little too long to get over. It could, it could signal a little bit or move over a little bit sooner. Um, so again, its spatial awareness is still pretty conservative. And I expected from Tesla, to be honest, in this first public release of V11, but I hope they make that a little bit more aggressive, at least on the start of in future builds. I see a little bit of pixelation here on that right repeater camera. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because of the snow or what, but my, my suspicion because of the UI lag here, it's something on the visualization side with just the MCU and the car sees correctly because it's doing all the right things here. Another smooth transition too from high to low speed, very human-like, good stuff there. So now we're stopping a little short here. I want to let it do its thing here for a little bit and see what it does. We're clear on our left here. And it's just taking maybe a little too long and just being a little too hesitant. 
I'm not giving it throttle input, but I definitely would have if it took another second or two. Giving it a little bit of throttle input here because there's a lot of cars being, you know, around us now. So I will definitely report that just for being a little bit overly cautious. Um, could be because there's construction around there and it's not used to that. Not no idea what what, what it saw or thought it saw, but um, and it could be the snow too. It could be being too hard on it and the snow might be throwing it off. I mean, we're now getting a degraded message here. So it's definitely stopping a lot sooner at some of these stopping points here. All right, so not the best behavior at that roundabout there. We should have definitely stopped a little further back if we were gonna wait. Um, so again, I will report that as well. But overall, uh, we got to our destination here, no disengagements, so good stuff there. Um, again, I think that might be our zero, first zero disengagement drive. You know, obviously plenty of it, throttle interventions. Um, but you know what, not a terrible drive considering the conditions and everything. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.